So in this video I'm going to be showing my motor alignment checking tool that I created for version 2 gearboxes um, because I thought that um, lots of people are, are having trouble getting their guns sound smooth because their um, motor isn't um, or could not be um, properly aligned to the gearbox so then there's really no way to make it sound good so <clears throat> what I created is this tool, this tool that um, is installed in, in the gearbox and then you put the gearbox in your uh, receiver or in the grip depending on what gun you have. Here I have a classic army MP5 so so it's it's a really simple tool you can get this from Shapeways I will put a link in the description so all you need is well it basically um, aligns itself on the on the bevel gear bushing holes so what you have is your bushings or bearings or whatever <coughs> and then you just install it in the here like this and then close the gearbox and screw it shut So here we go, it looks like this, and then you take your receiver or grip and then just install like normally you would your gearbox in the grip and then attach the screws. I'm gonna do this off camera because it's difficult to see the screw holes. So then you should have something like this. You can see the end of the tool here. And then what you do is you take your motor grip plate. And well, there's two types of these plates. There is the types that use these little Allen screws and then there's the types that use the bigger type of um, adjustment screw. So with these it's a little it's a little bit more difficult to see what you're doing, but you take out the screw and then you can sort of already see that the alignment seems to be quite right here and then you just put the grip plate here and then with maybe some flashlight you can see that the you can see white so that means that it's hitting the hole but because the hole is so small you can't really know if it's perfectly centered so um, you could mark a little spot in the middle with a marker or make a little notch with a knife or something and then you can see if it's aligned properly So that's that's how simple it is. So obviously this tool is it's reusable. So and it's really useful and a quick way to check if your gun has the proper proper alignment. So then you don't have to be guessing what's wrong. You can just find out really quick if the problem is in the motor angle or, or if it's somewhere else so like 
if you find or you use this tool to check your gun and your motor angle seems to be right, um, then the problem is obviously somewhere else. It could be, well, just bad gearbox shell, like some CYMA shells. They have really badly positioned bushing holes, and well, typically the version 3 gearboxes, the CYMA ones, they have. Well, the bushing holes are not aligned too well, so you don't have really good meshing with the gears, so that way they tend to be a little bit loud. But So anyway, so here is the first generation model that I made. And this one had a little bit oversized um, axle to fit the bushings. So, I don't know, I will update it to a to little bit smaller axle sizes so that you can use it with bearings because right now these are really tight but um, at least they align themselves really well and it's tight so and so if if you find out that your motor angle is off um, you have a few options what you can do well the first one is well, just replacing your grip or your gearbox or whatever, or then you can shim your grip with different ways. And if your receiver is causing the misalignment in M4s, then you can try the my filing fix, but it doesn't help every time. Unfortunately, if your if your grip isn't made too well then or accurately, then it doesn't help. Obviously. So, and then the second option is, well, getting a different grip plate, but it's hard to know which ones would be different in a way. So, what I'm going to do with my MP5, this isn't, this isn't my MP5, this is um, a local Airsoft Club's rent gun that I'm just maintaining. But in my own MP5, I have the... Future Energy ECF grip set and with a CYMA gearbox shell and I'm suspecting that the motor angle isn't quite right so I'm gonna be testing this later and then I will make if it's wrong then I will make a new grip plate I actually have already started I'm deciding it but in case the motor angle is, is wrong then I will get that new grip plate 3D printed just like this from black nylon and then I will fix it that way and if it turns out that the motor angle really is off then I might be putting those for sale too so if there is people that own these um, was it future energy or freedom energy <laughs> I guess future energy um, SEF grips then they can get a grip plate that corrects the motor angle. So, so yep, that's it for this time. So thanks for watching.